Ever wondered of all the ways you can track footage in DaVinci Resolve 18? I have too. So let's look at all the many different ways we can use the different methods to get tracking data from our footage. So I got a clip here of my dog. He is on the wall. And it's a little bit of movement, but not much. So we want to track that. So first we're going to click on the clip. We're in the edit page and we want to go to the fusion page. Now for the first method, we're going to use the simple tracker. We're going to go up here, search, track, tracker, pull that down. Now you would think you would just connect this right here and then through. I'm going to show you a different way. We're going to unconnect unconnect that connect our tracker connect our media tracker will go on screen one press one now for the tracker if you just want to track a simple point on your image all you need to do is click this little button you see your mouse turns into a crosshair we're going to pick a point on his eye like so and over here on the tracking window, we'll hit track forward. You can see it crops in and starts tracking your point. And it completed and it looks like we got a good track. Tracking is uh, very challenging in different footages. It's uh, dependent on a lot of contrast. So now, Let's say I just wanted to add some simple text here. I'm going to add a text. I'm going to add a merge and I'm going to add a transform. For my text, I'll just say a doggy. Now, how do I connect this to these two together? On the transform node, right click, connect to tracker one tracked path position. Now that'll lock my text to what I just tracked. Pretty neat. Now one problem you're going to see with this is uh, scaling and perspective. To add perspective or scaling, we need another tracker. So we're going to have two trackers. Let's track the other eyeball. You can see I'm tracking both eyes and it's completed. So now we're going to use the tracker as the merge node. We're going to disconnect this stuff, connect the text right in there, and I'll put this to media. So to get the text to show up, we're going to go to our tracker, operation, match, move, foreground over background. And now our words are being positioned, rotated, and scaled with the two tracking datas. That's pretty cool how it just sticks right on there. And that's just the normal tracker. The cool part of the tracker is you can use its data in any other transform node. Say you have 10 of these, go to your transform node and then right click, connect to tracker one. You can have many different things tracking from this single tracker. The next one on the list is Planar Tracker. It's a fun word to say. Let's connect this one up. Put Planar on one. And as soon as you connect it up to there, you're going to hit... See, we're right in the middle, so we'll hit Set. And Hybrid Point Area. And the motion type is going to be perspective. And what you need to do is just click on your frame of what you want to track. We'll see if we can get this whole picture. And we set our frame. And now we'll just hit track to the end.
And then once we get to the end, we still need the front half of this. So we'll go back to go and we'll track the other way. Depending on your computer, this might take a minute. Now we have tracking data from this Planar tracker. So we're gonna create a Planar transform. And that gave me a new node. So I can disconnect this one, it is add a text node, add a merge node. We're gonna switch our position of the text node with the, tran with the Planar transform and merge it into there. Now I have tracked it onto the picture. Also in Resolve, we do have a camera tracker. And what that is for is tracking the camera movement so you can add it to a 3D scene. And now we're in the color page. Color page has a couple different tracking options. Uh, the major one would be power windows. And what a power window is for is for masking certain images, certain parts of your footage on the screen to adjust like colors or balance or anything really. You can use it to, uh, let's say I don't want my dog's face on the internet. I'll hit the power window and move it into his face. And then with a simple control T, it will track. And then if, if you notice down here are the arrows. This is a newer button, track forward and reverse. Track reverse, track forward. So we just tracked from this point on. And then if we get back to that point and we wanna to track to the end, we can do that. Now we have a perfectly tracked thing and we'll drop a mosaic blur on my dog identity is protected it's very helpful for like street footage where you need to blur out signs or brands or people's faces from the public the next one is color page surface tracker for this guy all you need to do is drag it into your nodes now we have the node here to add our bounds all we need to do is scroll over to the footage, click a box around what you want tracked, and it will mesh it by clicking mesh, and then track, track forward and back. Okay, we have our painting tracked, and it's not the best option for this. This is meant for like uh, signs, replacing signs or logos on shirts. Um, you can tell there's parallax from the reflection here, so it's kind of moving with it. But to use this, we drop a image onto our nodes, plug that guy in. And to change your, the way that image shows up, you would do compositing. Um, let's try screen. Overlay, you can overlay an image, kind of looks like a reflection. And to change the placement, you can do sliders, zoom out a little bit. Change the yaw to match it. Change the pitch. Oh, it kind of looks like I'm projecting the image on there. Pretty cool. Bonus tip for the color page and tracking. Let's go to Magic Mask, and we're gonna track an object. To do that, as you click on your plus, draw a line around what you want tracked. Add a few more points. Now I have my painting tracked, you can finesse the mask. Now I want everything beyond, everything in red is gonna be changed by this node. So I will drop the exposure and it's not affecting my painting or my picture. That's pretty dark. That looks pretty neat. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, put a comment in the below box.